So uh, I was flying my drone along, wasn't paying, paying attention to what was on the side, and I crashed it. Gosh dang it. Hey, what's going on guys? It is currently way too early on a Saturday morning to be awake. It's just before 5.30 and I am meeting a friend because we are going somewhere that I've actually never been before in Utah and that is the Flaming Gorge Dutch John area. It's uh, eastern Utah, just below Wyoming. So if you take a look at Utah and cut out the map or cut out the upper right corner, it's down in that corner somewhere i can't think right now i'll just show you on a map we're headed out that way to make a delivery for his dad's business and while we're there we're gonna try a little fly fishing so brought all my camera gear he's bringing all the fishing gear and uh, let's see what we catch <music> made it down to a little hole just below the Flaming Gorge Reservoir and uh, I'm gonna try something that I've done maybe once in my life which is crazy that I haven't done this more because I grew up on the Henry's Fork of the Snake River but uh, my buddy's gonna show me how to fly fish. <music> Obviously, I'm not as prepared to go fly fishing as everybody else around here. I'm actually more here to ob observe. Got some hip waders on that I borrowed from my dad. I'm just gonna watch my buddy fish, maybe practice a few casts, but I'm really here for the scenery, but who knows, maybe I'll get addicted. <laughs> So yeah, as I was saying, I uh, grew up on the Henry's Fork, which if you don't know, it's pretty renowned for fishing. In fact, my neighbor was uh, Michael Keaton's fishing guide. So anyway, it's just surprising that I just never learned how to fly fish, only rod and reel. But I'm just kind of watching my buddy. I'm just enjoying being out here in the nature. <laughs> So we moved up the river uh, about half a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile. Uh, not having any luck. We just saw one rise. I'm gonna try my hand at this again, see if I can at least learn the technique. It was kind of embarrassing. Didn't really know what I was doing, but who cares? Just out here enjoying nature. This is a place that I've never been before. Again, this is called, uh, well, this is the Green River and then Flaming Gorge is the reservoir just around that bend. We'll see if we can get some shots of that as we head home. But we're in Red Rock country in the northeast corner of Utah, just below the Uintas. <laughs>
Let's find my drone along, not paying attention to what was on the side, and crashed it. So <laughs> we're looking for it now. Luckily, it didn't hit the water. So here's the tricky thing. My drone is across the river and I don't see a place that's shallow enough to cross it. Not only did we get skunked on the river, I freaking crashed my drone, I said that already. But let me show you where it landed. Up on that grass strip up there. Because my buddy has deep enough waders, they go chest high, he was able to wade across the river upstream. So uh, he found it. That's what friends are for. I owe him it big time. So dumb, should have been paying attention. So I think after this, we're done. I didn't get much fishing, fly fishing training, but that's okay. And I doubt after making my buddy go get my drone, he'll want to teach me. So, I don't know. That's a, I mean, I guess that's the second time I've crashed a drone, but first big recovery like that. I just hope he's safe crossing the river. At this point, I don't even care if he gets the drone wet, as long as he's safe. But yeah, he had to cross the river, walk clear down there up to that ledge. So it was up on that ledge, he had to walk clear down here, cross right here. That sucks. Again, I owe him big time. Looks like it's a little shallower where he's at. Before we head home, just want to show you the Flaming Gorge Dam. It's huge. There you go. It's a monster. Anyway, we're going to head back now. Might get a few more shots on the way back, but we're pretty tired. All right, so that wasn't the video that I intended on making. Uh, heading out there, I had these grand visions of beautiful drone shots, beautiful shots of fly fishing, you know, catching this giant rainbow trout hog, lifting it out of the water with water droplets dripping off and the sun shining through it. Obviously, that just didn't happen. You know, I kind of ruined the trip by crashing my drone and sending my friend across the river, tiring him out. And then it got really hot on the walk back and we were just zapped after that. Anyway, uh, the thing that I wanted to address is I didn't really capture it in the video, but crossing that river is pretty dangerous. Now, luckily the water was low. They haven't really released the water out of the dam for the spring runoff yet, but it was still about chest high. And as my friend was returning, across the river he actually fell in above his wader line and if you know anything about waders if you uh, get water down in there you know crossing a river it can fill up like a bucket and be pretty treacherous now luckily he was wearing neoprene waders so there wasn't much room to uh, let that water get down in there even then there was a kind of a moment of panic as he was halfway across the river but he told me that he made up in his mind there's no room for quitting at that point you just gotta try and get back across now luckily everything turned out okay and when I asked him, or you know, when I yelled across the river and I said, dude, I don't care if the drone gets wet. He's like, I do, I just want the footage. So actually bringing me out there has been something that he's wanted to do for a while uh, because he knows how beautiful it is. It's one of his favorite places. He has a lot of fond memories out there. He wanted to show me this area. He knew that the drone shots would be beautiful. He knew that the scenery would be beautiful. And so I'm just grateful that he wanted to share that experience with me and even more grateful that he was willing to risk his safety just to get my drone back. So that's something I don't recommend, you know, something that's trivial. Luckily, everything turned out okay. I just wanted to wrap this video up with that. If you're from the Utah, Colorado, Wyoming area and you've been to Flaming Gorge, or even if not, let me know down in the comments below. It, and if you need a place to travel to, I definitely recommend checking it out. It is very beautiful. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, and 
be kind to each other. Peace. Thank you.